In this video I'm going to show you the setup of the iClor salt water system by Pentair. After you turn your pool pump on, it takes about a minute or two for the iClor to boot up. You'll see the salt light flashing between red and green as it's booting up. And if the flow light stays solid red, this indicates there's not enough water flowing to the cell. If you have a variable speed pump, go ahead and increase the RPMs to be above 1800 RPMs to get proper flow. This could also indicate that there's a problem with the suction of your pool. This could be a dirty filter, a clogged pump basket, or something interfering with the water flowing to the pump. And after one or two minutes when the system boots up, if this salt light stays solid green, that means the salt level is good and it'll be producing chlorine. If it's flashing red, that means that it's low salt. This one here is flashing red, so that means that there's low salt in the pool. You can see that I tested this pool here and the salt level is at 2600 parts per million. So it's a little bit low for the iClor to operate. The iClor operates on 3,000 to 3,600 parts per million, and this will be the ideal level of salt you want in the pool. You can refer to the back of the bag to let you know how much salt to add for your particular pool size. So go ahead and add some salt to the pool if you're getting the flashing light, and then go ahead and retest after 24 hours. You want to make sure that you have the right salt level, otherwise the salt generator will not work. So I'm back at this pool after adding the salt. You can see that the green light on the salt level indicator is solid green. That means that there's enough salt for the iClor to operate. So again, this is the flow indicator and this is the salt level indicator. Let me go over some other features and functions of the iClor. So under the display screen is the output. It comes factory shipped at 20% production. Simply press the more button to raise the salt output. You can raise it in increments of one. You hold the button down, it'll be raised in increments of five. Once you stop, it'll save it at whatever level that you choose. This one here is set at 50%. And you can also lower the output by hitting the less button and lower it in increments of 1 or 5. If you hold the more button down for 3 seconds, it'll enter the diagnostic mode. You'll see all the lights on the cell flash. The first thing that's displayed is the total cell hours. You can use the more button to scroll through. The next screen will show you the temperature. The next screen after that will show you the salinity in parts per million. You see that this one's at 3100 parts per million. The next screen will show you the cell voltage. And the last screen will show you the firmware revision number. This one's been running for 67 total hours. The cell is rated for 10,000 hours. And if you get a flashing green cell light, this means that the salt cell has some calcium buildup. Go ahead and take the cell off and go ahead and clean it with some muriatic acid. And I have a video on my channel where I show you how to take the salt cell off and clean it with muriatic acid. And if the cell light is solid red, that means that the water temperature is too cold for it to produce and is in standby mode. This happens when a water temperature gets to 52 degrees or below. And if the cell light is off, that means it's not producing at that moment. If you have it set for less than 100% production, the cell light will turn off when it's not producing during the cycle. So you can see that the eye is very easy to operate. I really like the fact that it displays the salinity or salt level in the diagnostic menu for you. Inyopools.com is a proud sponsor of swimming pool tips and have been helping pool owners find the right pool parts since 2001. With over 50,000 pool parts in stock, order online today and have your parts delivered right to your door.